Okay, so first up we had The Heads with uh, Widowmaker from their debut album Relaxing with The Heads. And after that we had the marvellous, most wonderful stoner rock sounds of a gonga um, yeah, they were a great band and they're, they're still going actually they're still doing stuff they're brothers Thomas and George Elgi uh, with um, a couple of different vocalists I know Joe Volk was involved at one point and I think Matt Williams aka Team Brick was involved at some point as well and, and they, people you know, sort of coming and going at the minute they're doing sort of instrumental stuff but I do know I had, a, I had an email off Tom uh, from Gonga um, and he said they're, they're, they're currently looking for uh, a new vocalist so if anybody fancies taking the you know taking the mantle taking up the mantle and being the vocalist uh, for Gonga which you know which is uh, pretty uh, pretty big shoes to fill there you know if, you, if, if, if anybody's up for that then uh, get in touch with the band you know you can you can find them on MySpace and uh, uh, Facebook and all that sort of thing so uh, I think they've got their own website as well so yeah Gonga check them out um, that 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 Actually, I'm wittering on, and I haven't actually told you that that song was called Strato Fortress, which was released through Invader Records. So, yes, that was Gonga there. So, yeah, check them out. Awesome band. We're in the noughties now. We're in the 2000s, the noughties. We're here. Um, a lot of stuff happened in Bristol in the noughties, and most of it came out through Sugar Shack Records, which is run by Mike Darby, who also runs Bristol Archive Records. And um, I sent an email to Mike, and I asked him if he could recommend a bunch of bands, and um, he did. He sent me a huge list. Um, some of them I knew, some of them, well, quite a lot of them I didn't. So, um, you know, a lot of them were bands that, you know, obviously that he worked with through uh, Sugar Shack. And... Um, and uh, you know some of the bands that he he mentioned to me were uh, bands like Mia Culpa, Anemic, Echo, Echo. I'm not quite sure you said that. Um, X is Loaded, Indica, and according to Mike, one of the biggest ones that I've missed in my list that I sent him was a band called Redefine, who are uh, like one of Sugar Shack's kind of swan song bands. You know, I think they did really well from uh, from what I could see. Uh, you know, when I looked them up and all that sort of thing. So yeah. You know, if you're interested, go and check out Sugar Shack Records, www.sugarshackrecords.co.uk. Um, yeah, check them out. It might be worth getting in touch with them, you know, if you're a heavy hard rock band. Uh, you know, you might tickle Mike's fancy and, you know, you never know. So, give him a shout. But uh, one of the bands that we haven't mentioned that were massively involved with Sugar Shack is a band called Left Side Brain. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to insert, I'm lovingly insert Jody from Bristol Live Music Scene, the lovely, wonderful Jody from Bristol Live Music Scene, into the show here and uh, let her introduce the track. Anyone who knows me knows that I absolutely love Left Side Brain. Favourite band, can't speak highly enough of them. So it would have to be the song Exit Route, originally on the album Action potential and is also the first track on the recently released Riftrospective 10 Years of Left Side Brain.
Crystal Podcast. was Merrick and the song was called Timmy and uh, Merrick uh, you know if you like sort of Tool and uh, the Deftones you can really hear that influence if you like bands like that then check them out the Bristol band absolutely fantastic the guitarist you know I saw I saw them at the Croft the other day and the guitarist's tone absolutely crushing skull crushingly heavy uh, great great band so please go and check them out Merrick Facebook MySpace you know the score Merrick 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 awesomeness Right, okay, so next up we've got the choice of Paul from Crypt of Locust Promotions, uh, which is a company that specialises in extreme metal, death, grindcore genres. And, um, you know, so if you're in a young band, or if you're, you know, any band, if you're in a band and you do that sort of thing, then uh, I recommend that you get in touch with him and I'm sure he'll give you a gig. Um, um, his recommendations to me were um, a band called Amputated, who are a kind of death metal band that specialise in like obscene lyrics and. Uh, one of my favourite song titles of theirs is called Menstrual Cunt Fart. Um, I, I shan't be playing that tonight, but, <laughs> but what I will be playing is a track of theirs called uh, Repungent Genital Deformity off their uh, Wading Through Rancid Awful record. And then after that we've got a band called Burning Skies with a track called War Hate. And then Sanctuary of the Wretched, which is a track by Trigger the Bloodshed. It looks like something I fell off my dick during the war. <laughs> 